The Friday the 13th The Game website got updated once again, and boy do we have some pretty big news. So not only did we get to find out that Chad will be rocking a Speedo in the new Spring Break clothing pack DLC, but in a video that Gun Media uploaded to their official YouTube channel, they teased what Vanessa and Deb will be looking like in their new bathing suits. It turns out they're actually going to be getting a one piece. Also here's a few screenshots of Tiffany, how she looks from behind, and how she looks in motion instead of it just being a still picture. All you guys out there, you're welcome. So I took this screenshot from the video, and I'm not sure if this is going to be a new map, or if this will just be added to the 40% smaller maps that they're currently adding into the game. So the thing is that I've never seen this bridge in the game at all. Actually, the more I think about it, it might be that bridge behind Higgins Haven. I'm not sure. Comment down below what you guys think. Anyways, we got to see two new emotes, one by Chad and one by Tiffany. The first one we got to see was Chad doing some type of dance. I can't wait to use this in the game. And the second one by Tiffany doing some type of wave. I guess this could be used for two things. One for saying, yo, what's good? Another for saying, yo, over here, I need your help. So in the mocap studio, we got to see three new kills performed by Kane Hodder. Kane Hodder plays so rough that he actually broke one of the props on one of the actors. Man, I wouldn't want to run into this guy in the back of a Starbucks line. So another kill we got to see was Kane Hodder sticking a machete into the ground and dragging the counselor towards it. I don't know about you guys, but that has to hurt. So now we're looking at what seems to be a new kill for either Savini Jason or Part 6 Jason. Anyways, in this kill, basically what's happening is Jason is stabbing them either with a pitchfork or a spear and then tossing them over his shoulder. This is one of the new kills that I'm pretty excited for, for it looks pretty badass. So that's all the news we have for kills, but we have been told in the official YouTube channel of Gun Media that there will be car customization in the game. How this will work, I have no clue, but we've been told we will be able to add bumper stickers, new colors, and possibly seat patterns. Speaking of customization, the counselor clothing system is going to be updated. Basically what's being added is more control over how you make your counselor look. I didn't really read too much about this, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to change the colors of certain outfits. And it seems from the photos you'll be able to have like certain loadouts of what outfits you want to go in the match with. All I can say right now is they're taking a step in the right direction and making the game more neat. Also, it's been confirmed that we will be getting a new game mode, however we didn't receive any more information other than just that. I guess that just about covers today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and visiting my channel. As always, like and subscribe if you're new, comment down below what you believe I should cover next. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.